So there are a lot of things that go into planning an event for a living area. And those responsible for planning are us, the RAs. Planning an event can be very stressful, especially when you have so many different personalities clashing with one another on the team. There are usually certain personalities that you have on every staff that stand out from the more normal people, and I think our staff is a great example of that. First, we have the eccentric personality. This person is bubbly, outgoing, and overflowing with joy. Have you seen Elf? Kind of like Elf. Oh my gosh! Guys, I am so excited! I invited all my residents to come, and I'm sure they will. You should bring your residents too, and it will be a resident party. Are you excited? Oh, come on, be excited. Have you seen my ring? Next, we have a similar personality in the tryhard. She does most things over the top and tries so hard, even when blatantly unnecessary, to gain the acceptance of her residents. Hey guys, I just wanted to come by and tell you about my homework event that I'm going to have tonight. It's going to be really fun. I'm going to have like music and games and food. Pretty much making like a five course meal. So you guys should come by and can knock out like totally any homework you have. We're Kines majors, so... But wait, I have all this fun stuff. <laughs> Looking at the opposite end of the spectrum is the underachiever, or someone who just doesn't care. Hey, um, there's some people hanging out in the pool and it's after 10. Do you think you can take care of it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, thanks. I don't get it. Zach said he'd take care of the people in the pool, but I definitely still hear voices. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, Zach... <laughs> Next up is a gym rat. This person is a health nut and is always organizing his schedule and other schedules around what time he or she goes to the gym. All right, we need to plan a time to meet next week. How about next Tuesday at 7? Worst you ever. boss. That's a uh, gym time. Then there's a person that evens out the staff dynamic, brings a bit more intensity, and not afraid to crush dreams in the name of realism. They are the know-it-all. Do I see myself as negative? No. Is that what they told you? Listen, someone has to keep these people grounded, bring a realistic perspective, and I have the responsibility to be that person, to speak the truth. I consider myself the perspective police, officer of the obvious, as in obviously you're wrong. Another personality is senioritis. This soon-to-be graduate wants to get away with doing the least amount of work as possible. I don't think I have to explain it any further. Okay, so we all understand, right? This month's event is huge. Zach, Blake, I need you guys to make sure we have all the food and drinks the day before so we're prepared. Rachel, Kelly, I need you guys to get the decorations. Just know that we need to spend time making these banners each night this week. Just remember to contact the professors. Oh, from... can we just throw in a movie and call it a day? Now, there's always that one person on the staff that stands out. Not for the reason of them being hardworking or the best, but just because they stand out. It's that guy. I'm singing! Yep. And of course, every staff also has its artists. This person thrives on adding a splash of creativity and imagery in everything. Even though doing so wouldn't really matter. So does that make sense to everybody? I mean, it's just a simple event. Food, drinks, they're going to be laid out. But other than that, it's just a social mixer. Okay, I have a really good idea. I feel like we'd really touch our artistic residents if we had some kind of creative output for them. I'm thinking some kind of like magazines, colored paper to maybe create some kind of like 8x8 eight eight really tasteful mosaic. 8x8 eight eight inches. No, feet. So there's always this person that blurs the line between teacher's pet and man crush. This is the brown noser. Oh, it can't be called the box. The living area needs its own community, community. its own identity, identity, its own place to identify to come and hang out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really drove that one home there, boss. Too close. You're right, you're right. Of course, a vital personality in every staff is the encourager. A person who lends a supportive role. The voice of inspiration, reassurance, and positivity. Wow, how do you find time to do laundry with your busy schedule? Oh my gosh. That's a huge load. And you have it all pre-separated? Good job. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Hey, I just want you to know, if you ever need anything, dryer sheets, laundry detergent, softener. Then there's a personality who knows exactly what their love languages are. Myers-Briggs expert, if this person were a candy, they'd be a chocolate mountain.
personality type, an ESFJ, quality time, physical touch, words of affirmation. And the best part about being an RA is you're able to really touch the lives of students. You really start to break down those walls that you're able to impact the lives of students and really care for... I just need a hug. And last but not least is low context. The impeder of understanding. The mystery of comprehension. The enzyme to confusion. For instance, if you text this person, they will read the text but not respond because they think Eh, I'll talk to them about it later. <sighs> Frustrating. Hey Blake, I'm gonna need that thing I asked from you. Okay, sure. What thing were you talking about? Some kind of report or something? Yeah, I'm gonna need it pretty soon. Oh, oh, okay. When, when do you need it by? You'll figure it out. Wait, what? Ian! Ian, wait! So there you have it. One big, happy, functional family. Heather, we're ready. Well, here we go. Alright guys, pass the torch. No bad ideas, ready, go. Let's just give them our shirts. No, that's so lame. We should do like a light show, kind of like World of Color, you know? Yeah, or even an interpretive dance. Dude, yes. we should totally do something yeah. active. I like to yeah. move it, move it. Oh, how are we going to get a permit move it, for that? Move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to And why are you late? Sorry, I just had a ton of homework, and I was completely swamped, so I lost track of time. I was sleeping. Yo, boss, what have you guys done in the past? I feel like I... See, we need your input on this. I don't know, it's not my bit. Aren't you our boss? I really feel like we need to touch their hearts. I mean, we're dealing with people's souls. Guys, I want you to know that these are all really good ideas. No, they're not. Aw, thank you, Rachel. <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> wait, wait, quick question. What does that mean? I actually had this idea about making the event Hunger Games thing. So like, each new RA in West Colony can be... Oh my gosh, I love Hunger Games! <laughs> 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 Alright, everyone, everyone in agreement. Yeah. Okay, let's fire off ideas for that. Oh, we, we could put them all on platforms that come up out of the ground and then there'll be like a countdown timer. No. Oh yeah! Fight to the death! Yes. What are we gonna dig a hole in the ground ourselves? Plus we're gonna get the money for that. Okay, so what is our budget anyways? I mean, we're not looking at a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, we're not Calm Life. Why? How much would Calm Life get? I don't know. Why do you ask the trader? Wait, what? Alright, alright. Let's bring it back. Let's work with what we got. Okay, so we're gonna need decorations for that to make it look good. I actually have a whole board on Pinterest dedicated to Hunger Games, so I should definitely take that up. Right, so we got that covered, so I guess the last thing we need to cover and figure out is the venue. Maybe somewhere inside, rec center, because it's getting close to summer, you know? I have an idea. Why don't we do it in the cafe at dinner time, and then we'll have resident participation? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, boss, what about you? Do you think that's a good idea? I don't know, we're just brainstorming. Why don't we just have it where we do every year? All right, meeting adjourned. District 1, Jessica Troyer. District 2, Sierra Smith. District 3, Brandon Ferris. District 4, Walker Goodman. District 5, Matt Lopes. District 6, Deborah Amusio. District 7, Marissa Shelton. District 8, Katie Liddell. District 9, Charlie Maxey. District 10, Elena Conrad. District 11, Max Murphy. And in District 12. And I volunteer as tribute. Oh. What? Ah, just, just kidding. Oh. Oh. Oh.